all you cool cats and kittens. We're making a tiger cake. I am never going to financially recover from this. I have been stuck inside my house for about a month now, self-quarantined, and I've been watching a ton of Netflix. The latest series I started watching was The Tiger King with Joe Exotic, and I felt like I had to make a tiger cake. But this cake isn't just gonna look like a tiger on the outside. When you cut the tiger open, instead of finding Carol Baskin's husband, you'll see a tire pattern. I mean, I feel a little bad, but like we all know she did it. <laughs> So to make the tiger pattern, I've got like two batches of my thick vanilla cake batter. Whenever I do a surprise inside, you really need a thick batter so that way you can see like all the different pattern. So for the tiger stripes, I'm gonna use orange, black, and white. So I'm gonna divvy this up, color my batter, and then we can start making that tiger pattern. As far as inside surprise cakes go, this one should be a fairly easy one because I think the key is you just do like a dollop of each color alternating in the center of the cake pan. And then it kind of spreads out as you put the next dollop on top to create tiger stripes. I just did the exact same thing with my second cake and now I am just praying to the cake gods that it worked. Let's put them in the oven. Cakes are out of the oven, but it's impossible to tell if they worked, which is like the worst thing about surprise inside cakes. You have to wait until the entire cake is decorated to see if you failed miserably or not. But I'm gonna take the cakes out of their pan, carve off all of that caramelization, and then get it ready to decorate. I can calm down a little bit now. Colors are done. I figured the easiest way to get the icing on this cake was to put it on with a bag. I don't usually like to do it. I like doing it just with a spatula. But in this case, I want to do like a white, not stripe, but kind of going down the center of the cake, kind of like the tiger's spine. Or is it the tiger's belly? I feel like they have white bellies. Either way, I thought it'd be cute to do like a blended kind of white, just to help break up the stripes of black and orange. So I'm just going to bag all of my icing. And then I thought for the tiger stripes, instead of doing them with fondant, which I know would look cleaner, but also take a really long time, I thought it would be cool to do them just with buttercream icing. So, yeah. Tiger Gang has to be one of the strangest, weirdest things I have ever seen. If you guys haven't seen it, you should watch it. It is quite the roller coaster. But coming out of it, I had no idea that there were so many like big cats and tigers in captivity in general. Like, who is owning all of these tigers? How do you own a tiger? They are big. But apparently, there are more tigers in captivity in the US alone than there are in the wild around the world. If that is a true magic, that is absolutely insane. I personally don't support animals in captivity and I feel like now more than ever that we are stuck in our houses for month on end, self quarantining social distancing, all of that stuff. Um, we know what it's like that we can survive in, in a box, but we're not really living. 
which sucks. But I'm so curious how you guys feel about animals in captivity. Let me know down below. Do you think it's wrong or do you think it is Joe Exotic's right to own a tiger and other animals? This is my way of living and nobody's gonna tell me any otherwise. Let me know. I am not completely happy with that. I don't really know what I was looking to accomplish, but I kind of wanted something just to break up the stripes. I thought if it was just orange and black, it would just be very orange and black. Um, but I've been messing around with it. I feel like I just have to move on and pipe some stripes onto it. Now, I did see a video like this from Jen Johns who piped stripes on and then painted them out with like, a paintbrush to do the stripes. I feel like that looks a lot better than just like fawning or blobs because the stripes of a tiger, it would be kind of blended because they're furry. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm hoping those stripes are gonna cover up whatever I just did in the center of this cake. Now let's cut it open and see if it looks like a tiger on the inside and the outside. If you guys have not subscribed, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Cue sexy b-roll. <laughs> 